Hey, how's it going? This is uh, Clever Sausage. If you need the latest New Zealand news here, I've um, got this article on uh, NRL footy player, right? Uh, Benji Marshall. Uh, apparently, he's quite popular, doing really well in it. Okay, um, and they're saying uh, his week went from bad to worse when he was involved in a bizarre social distancing breach involving a kiss on the cheek in the West Tigers Club car park. Okay, um, yeah, he's a, he's the obvious centre of media attention at training yesterday after shock axing from coach Michael Maguire's West Tiger team to face Canberra on Saturday. So what did he do? Okay, um, i just ask you a question here, like, you know, and, and then, you know, slap the geek down the bottom there. And um, subscribe to the channel, right? And add your comments, your views, your opinions, whatever, on uh, what you think, you know, um, and what he did, okay? Because uh, we're at level one apparently in New Zealand of the uh, COVID virus, but there's still social distancing apparently. But we're up there today, do some shopping, and it's like there's no, well, there's a guy, a security guy standing in New World, right? But there's no like, oh, you can't take that bag and put it over there. You know, and stand in a line and all that sort of crap anymore. So people are quite close. So why don't they run in there and enforce? You know, oh, you're too, too close. To keep your distance, social distancing, all that sort of crap. As I guess in Australia, they're still pushing, right? Um, so yeah, best to um, shut the hell up, all right? And um, stop jibber, jibber, jibber jabbing and watch that video, right? Okay, so we're gonna push that, push the video and see what um, actually went down. It's been a bad week for Benji Marshall. First he was dropped for the Tigers match against the Raiders and now he's been banned from training altogether after breaching biosecurity measures. Marshall kissed a female reporter on the cheek as he entered training this morning and now he's awaiting her COVID-19 test results. A Benji Marshall brain fade. He was giving a kiss. Our cameraman knew it. The reporter realised straight away Benji brushed off the breach with a smile. So did the NRL's COVID cop, who was looking right at it. More often than not, if you see a female who you, who you know and you're friends with, you, you give them a hug. I, I guess that's just a habit. Unfortunately, the Bulldogs paid some sort of price for it last week, and fingers crossed we're not in the same boat. Unlike the Bulldogs last week, the Tigers won't miss any training. Marshall is banned from sessions until the reporter is cleared of COVID-19. But since he was dumped for Saturday's clash with the Raiders, shouldn't affect preparations. I was a bit shocked, but um, yeah, at the end of the day, he's our boss and he makes those decisions and we need to support that. It was a big shock. We were getting the news yesterday. I uh, wasn't really expecting that. Marshall's axing for Josh Reynolds was a message to the team from coach Michael Maguire after the side's loss to the Titans. The veteran half has taken it well. We were training this morning and you know, Benji was really upbeat. He was putting on the opposition shapes for us and uh, really helping out Josh was um, stepping into the role and giving him some I guess, little cues and some confidence going into a Saturday night's match. Maguire's decision caught the Raiders by surprise. You probably would have heard that uh, Michael Maguire has dropped Benji Marshall. Um, your thoughts on that? He's someone that I used to look up to growing up and I was looking forward to playing against him uh, again this weekend, but no one's safe in this game. Jake Duke, Nine News. Yeah, you make a simple mistake, you know, like what did they say about. Uh, way back about uh, Korean virus the Warriors fly. COVID-19 that um, it's uh, fluid contact right so if somebody like sneezes right um, or kisses you or whatever right uh, well yeah I think it was like first of all it was like kissing is fluid right then you might get the coronavirus so you, have to, you might get infected so you have to get checked and then it's sort of like progress uh, might have even been suggested as well at the same time that if somebody sneezed, right, it can, um, you can get infected, right? Okay. And that's what caused this big scare. And that's why people wore masks and, you know, covered up and all that sort of stuff because of that that um, fear. Okay. Um, so they said, well, you know, if you're going to sneeze, sneeze into your, over here, right? Right, okay. And maybe wipe it with a hand sanitizer or whatever, right? uh, cloth, right? whatever, right? Um, yeah, so you got the few clowns that were walking around sneezing on people, you know, and being funny, you know, trying to be funny, and, and, and 
cause you panic. And someone goes, has to go get tested and all that sort of stuff. And then they had the social distancing at shops, like supermarkets, like you had a big line and you had to stay, say, three metres away or whatever distance away from the other person, right? Um, if you got too close to some people, they'll be like, oh, oh it's social distancing, it's distancing, bro, you know? Like, um, like one time when I was at a, uh, what they call the warehouse, like, buy all these products cheaper, sort of, that sort of stuff. Well, there's, you know, different people around. Some Muslims on the left and one lady on the right, right, with their trolley, uh, doing his social distancing thing. Like, you know, there's a line, a specific place where you, you can stand uh, in the queue, right, on the floor, right, say you're equal distance away from a customer. But this lady was standing way, way away, right, and there's some chips in if they're either only a dollar, so I could you know, grab, grab these uh, green package ones, right, that right, 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 she didn't say anything. But the re there's only one red one, it was at the back, right, so. Look at the length of my arm, okay, you can see it, that's probably, figure out how long my arm would be, right, a certain distance, right, okay, so if I put out both arms like that, would that not be roughly about three meters or something, distance, right, okay, so if I'm putting out my arm like that to grab these chips, I'm still a certain distance away from that lady, aren't I, and she went, oh, oh social distancing, right, oh, you know, this sort of crap, I was like, well, lady, I'm only reaching for the chips at the back here. She's like, further over here a bit, right? Um, you know, so I'm, I'm a certain distance away from her, right? You get it? Okay, so there's like a platform where they're all stacked or a box, whatever, right? So that gives a... Uh, I can't go any further than the box, right? Right? So, and, and this thing's on top, right? So I'm at a certain distance, right? Away from this lady. The box of chips or whatever it was, was probably about... I don't know, probably about that long, right? Right, on display. So I reach that distance and grab the chips at the back. Right, I'm way away away from her. Right, right. Only my hand is there. Is my hand gonna sneeze? Hit you, you know, and give her the vir virus. Right? Am I gonna be like get the chips and wipe wipe her face with the chips? No, it's ridiculous. So I'm here, right, grabbing these chips. Uh, and she says, oh, social distancing, mate, this is a bit real, yeah, sort of attitude. But the trouble with me was I had a problem with somebody else during the day, right, and it sits in the back of your subconscious there, right, and you blurt out. So I says, if you, lady, I'm just grabbing these chips. Shut the F up, you know, whatever, which is, I felt pretty bad. I wish I could have apologised to that lady, because it was, you know, there's no need for that, right. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I've been around people all day that, were doing the same sort of thing. Okay, so sort of obviously got the back of my head there, right? I was affected by it, whatever. And it came out. Okay. So who you are, lady out there, if you remember me, my apologies, I couldn't find you to apologize for that outburst. Anyway, um so yeah, okay. But these they're taking the social distancing thing are they taking it like seriously, which it appears they are, or too seriously, over seriously, right? Um Okay, the guy gives the makes a mistake by giving the lady a kiss on the cheek, and she realizes it, right? But there's, like it said in the video, there's a uh, distancing cop. Worked that one out. There's a distancing cop down the other end, right? That, that sort of said something, but I think it's a she. She did it, right? It was, she just totally ignored it. But other people there, the only one that reacted was the lady that he kissed, right? So she's off to get tested, and his manager, footy manager, drops him right, because of that right because he broke the social distancing thing you know most people out there now here and you don't really give a stuff but by the appearance of it they don't really care right they're all like intermingling you know they're all doing their shopping like you know no one's going social distancing right like, constantly you know you just, okay you have that respect there you know you know, keep that in mind but we're at level one now and most people level two didn't care they go out there and they what they said, what they say, they broke the law by gathering somewhere or, or travelling around in their car or all that sort of stuff because they're trying to impose, they're trying to f find a system, right, a, a method to control people, right, by r limiting them. Like, uh, say, uh, what I saw in, in America, that these black, uh, these Afro Americans are saying that they're distancing black people from other black people so they don't have their contact, contact, you know, their communication. And then formulate, you know, ideas and stuff like that. Um, 
because apparently it all goes back to Jay Edgar Hoover uh, knocking off all the um, top Black Panthers and uh, Malcolm X, uh, Martin Luther King, all, all that sort of stuff, for a reason, you know, because he didn't want them to have their own power. But you have to go do your research on that. Go look at those YouTube videos, all that sort of stuff. Right, do your own research, um, study whatever. Yeah, it's all there. Okay. Um, yeah. So did they? Are they taking it too far? Okay, because he got dropped, right? Um, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of other ones I'm going to bring you as well, but I don't think I'll do it here. Or should I? I'm not really sure. Um, I blotted them out, right? There's one on um, cops uh, in New Zealand opting to wear guns with live ammo, maybe. Um, and someone's Maori community, whatever, so tested against it. Because you're going up against um, younger children that I you know, think they're, they're uh, couch gangsters, you know. They think they're gangsters, they think they're Tupac or Biggie Smalls after watching a video, you know. Um, or hearing some um, little, what's his name? Is it little Wayne or something? You know, those sort of people, those mumble rappers um, videos, they think that they're the gangster, you know. That, you know it's like um, instant noodles, you got instant gangster. Just add a video. Um, yeah, a couple of other ones. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, if you like this news report, I should really deliver the other one, but I don't think I will at the moment. I'll have to think about it. Yeah, if you um, like this, there, there's a geek over here with the glasses and two thumbs up. Yeah, over there, not here, okay? Down there, right? Tap that guy, slap that guy um, in order to subscribe to my channel and uh, write your reviews, your comments, add them, whatever. And then um, I'll get back to you with uh, some more exciting news. Or some more horrific news or funny news or whatever, some real juicy news. Cheer. Okay. Uh, catch you on the flip side.